Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yeah, we're here to talk about this. The fingerprint scanner and the Galaxy S5. Is it any good or is it just a massive gimmick? Let's find out. Right, so I've seen a lot of people posting and writing about stuff that the Galaxy S5 fingerprint scanner is just rubbish, it never works. So I figured I'd just give you my opinion on it and show you how to actually use it as well. So I just saw that it worked first time going into the device. But I'm going to show you how to use it properly. Because a lot of people, they're doing it the whole, you have to do it like that, like that. Um, and it kind of makes it a bit more cumbersome. Now, that's not the case. I'm going to show you that today. So, you go into your settings, go to finger scanner. I've currently got one registered because I've, I've de deleted them for this video today. So, I'm going to go into there. I'm just going to show you today. Now, yes, that's the standard way that everyone wants you to get into there. I'm actually just going to delete that one there. So, I completely delete it. Now, I'm actually going to register another one, so I'm actually going to start fresh. And at this point, it tells you, you can only do it for your fingerprint locking for your screen lock, your verify your Samsung account or pay using your fingerprints, that's for PayPal. So, yep, we're okay with that one. Now, most people are following the instructions on there and going exactly down like that, or down like that, whatever, whichever way it might be. Now, if you register it sideways, it will work sideways. Yeah, believe it or not. So, if you go sideways like that, you'll probably see, every time you do it, you get a little uh, green thingy. You will get the odd one like that where it, it just won't register it. That's with regards to the fingerprint technology people. Sometimes it may, sometimes it may not. And that's because we're doing the whole swipe motion. It has to actually read it. So at this point, it wants to put a password. If you lose your thumb, you can still get into your phone. So this one, we'll just do a quick password. Yay, QWERTY passwords for the win. So now we actually want to put it as our lock screen. So you want to put a fingerprint for your lock screen. So now when you go out of the phone and back into it, I can no longer get into the phone without actually fingerprint. Now, if I go down like that, I just see it's thinking, no, it won't do it. The reason for that is because I've registered it going sideways. So if I go sideways with it, boom, straight into the device. So some people go, you have to use two fingers and swipe or swipe it. You don't have to do that, as I just proved there. One-handed operation, tap your button, swipe into it and boom you're into your phone it quite simply is that simple if that makes sense so again you can register different fingers so if you decided you wanted to let's say if you didn't want to use your thumb all the time then you could just register this finger as well so again we'll just go for the quick process so that one's now is actually st starting there as well so if i go out of the phone and then back into it i can use this finger to go down like that Alternatively, if I want to go in like this and go just with my thumb going sideways and go inside with my thumb as well. So there is a misconception that you can't use it one-handed, that it just doesn't want to work. Now now and again, it has been a bit, you know, sometimes it hasn't gone in first time, but I've never had like a second, a third and a fourth failure. It normally goes in the second time, guaranteed. I think it might be one side to do it for the third time. So it's not perfect, but it does work. Now, some people will say, yeah, but it should be perfect. Life's not perfect, people. That's just the way life is. But that's it. That is the fingerprint scanner, um, how to use it properly. And again, we'll show you one more time. Well, it's probably going to fail this time, but you don't have to use two hands. You can use it one-handed, swiping down, and boom, I'm into the device. Yes, that simple. So don't always believe the hype um, that some people put out there and say, yeah, it's not really good. I, I love it. I think it works perfect. I've had not one issue with it. And that's it. That is my opinion, my take, and that is how to use, how to properly use the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S5. And people, thanks for watching. If you have any questions around this or anything else, you know what to do by now. Hit me up down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. It is very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Why? It's free. And also my new saying, if you care, share. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.